guys welcome back to no catch your name it's me ella today is thursday the 14th i'm pretty sure <laughs> of october anyways i'm in the bedroom because devin and jesse are in the living room playing games and stuff so i needed some quiet <laughs> i have a ridiculously large happy meal haul to share with you guys i um i just happened to get all these like in the same week a lot of packages came after the long holiday weekend and then my sister came by and dropped off baby gifts that were sent to her house because I can't send Amazon packages to my house because uh, we have people who steal stuff from um, porches here. And, uh, you know, I didn't want my stuff to get stolen. So that's that's actually why I got a P.O. box. But some things won't ship to P.O. boxes, so I should send it to my mom's or my sister's. Anyways, <laughs> so she brought me baby gifts and I got a bunch of packages in the mail. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to share them with you guys. <laughs> I like to share them because it's fun to share what you get. And also so the people who sent them know that I got them. And uh, the people who ordered stuff off of Amazon, you know, they they don't necessarily know what the, the stuff looks like that they ordered. <laughs> so I know um, they want to see, like, the whole thing. Anyways, let's just start because there's a lot. It's I'll have to insert a picture of one of them too because it's still in the box. And I'm not going to open it until the baby is here because it's easier to store it in the box. <laughs> But this package came, I'm trying to remember when this one came, just a few days ago, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Let me pull it all out. This is from Erica. Okay. That noise is my door, I'm leaning up against it, I probably shouldn't be, but it's good. I got the cutest card ever with this one. And it's like a, I hate to say the word vintage, because I know a lot of people who watch me are older than me. But it's from the 80s, which is kind of vintage to me. <laughs> I was born in 1990. But it's, it's from 83. But it is so cute. Look at this card. Mm, so cute. I can't wait to have a little girl. <laughs> I'm so excited. When we took Jessie to the dentist the other day, there was a little girl. She was two. Getting her, like, teeth examined and stuff. And it was just so cute watching her. And I can't wait to have that. But anyways, there's the card. Put that up there. And she made a really cute little baby poncho. Really beautiful colors. Definitely my color scheme. So it's a little poncho and this cute little flower with a, uh, like a gem on it. That'll be so cute on June. And it's beautiful workmanship. I love that color. So pretty. Put that up there. And it's crinkly. She also made, let's get another fast, matching mom and daughter headband ear warmer type things. So here's the baby one. So pretty. I love the colors again. And it's got another one of the flowers with the bling bling. And then here's the mommy one. I put it on it now, but I got like a bun in my hair, so you can't see it. But you, you get the idea. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. I can't wait to get matching clothes with June. I was telling Devin about that. I actually want to order, I need to get onto that. I want to order a robe and a baby swaddle that matches for the hospital. <laughs> um, so that, you know, in the first pictures we take with her, um, me and her will be matching. I thought that'd be so cute. <laughs> I've looked at some online. Some of them are ridiculously expensive, so I'll probably go to Etsy and try to find someone who makes them who, you know, at least if you're paying more for it, you get quality instead of, you know, some China made. Anyways, headbands. Those are all from Erica. Very cute. Okay, I'll just grab from here. This one I actually got today. This is from my Amazon, my Amazon wish list. Um, which I do have one. I have a bunch of them actually because I keep one for Jesse, one for our house, like, you know, like house things we want, things that I want, things I need for No Catch Your Name, and I have a baby register also. And I make those mostly for myself and for my family and for Devin <laughs> so he knows what uh, me and Jesse want. But um, some people have purchased me things off my wish list, which I super appreciate. And this is one of them. So this came today and this came from Kristen. Yeah, these are just the junk receipts. So there's her gift receipt. I always keep those. I have a big box full of all the cards and stuff. It's actually right behind you. But she got me Zoomer Grammy 6, which is awesome. So now I have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. <laughs> so I need 4, 3, 2, and 1 uh, to have them all so far. And I'm sure they'll make out more. This one, oh my god, I just saw something so cute. I haven't even flipped through this. We just got home from picking up our grocery order and um, going to the mail. And it's got, I don't know if that's all of them. Let's flip through it real fast. It's going to be a long video, so just warning you. <laughs> okay. Oh, little cow. That is so cute. Anita the cow. Bo the panda. Aw, 
Oh, Carlos the Hummingbird. Someone was looking for a hummingbird pattern. That doesn't really look like a hummingbird, like the typical hummingbird shape. It's like a cartoony one. I think the person who has been looking for one wants like a more realistic looking one. But that one's adorable. Uh, Manu, Manu and Baguette, the Dash Hounds. I, think, I don't think I'm saying those right. It's like French words or something. I'm from Tennessee, so I can't pronounce anything right. Mortimer the Mammoth. That reminds me of Ice Age. Oswald the Owl. Oh, Terry the Piglet. Tex. I don't know how to say that. I thought it's got an X in it. <laughs> Bernard the Bear. This one actually seems familiar. I don't have it yet, though. I must have seen someone else. Um, oh, this one's cute. I'll have to make this one. Sean the Shark. Jesse will want that. He loves um, water animal. Ruby the Red Panda. Uh, Wu Ri the Lion. <laughs> Cedric the Sloth. <laughs> oh, this one's so cute. Alvin the Hedgehog. See any kind of Alvin the Chipmunk? <laughs> Oh, this one's cute too. Kimmy the kitten. Should be one more, I think. Let me look. Yeah, just more. Anna the swan and her baby Peter. Those are so cute. But that is from Kristen, so thank you so much. Put that up there. Put these over here, that'll be trash. Okay. Alright, now this next stuff is from my baby registry that is on Amazon. If you're interested in that, I'll link it below, but uh, there's no pressure. <laughs> so, you know, don't think that I'm, like, pressuring you, for me. Now these, I can remember off the top of my head some of them. I think they got the little things taped to them. Okay, this one is from Doris. See, this one was ordered a while ago. It's just I haven't been to my sister's. Because right after August, yeah, the end of August, we all started getting sick. Um, my sister and them ended up with COVID. We didn't get it, luckily. <laughs> so we had to stay away from them because they and my mom got COVID. That was back when they got COVID. So we had to stay away from them for like a good two and a half weeks, you know. And then uh, that's when Jesse started getting sick because he started school. So... I haven't seen my sister but maybe twice since the end of August. So she came by yesterday, I think, to drop off these. Anyways, this is from Doris. This is a cute little baby outfit. It's a size three to six month, it says, but I think it's larger than that. I think the Amazon sizes are off <laughs> uh, because this looks way bigger. This looks more like a one year to me, but it's still cute. Either way, it'll look cute on her no matter what size. So there's the onesie part of it. Got cute little ruffles. And it comes with these cute little pants. And it's got this tie on it that you would tie in a bow. It's a cute little pink onesie with floral pants. And then it comes with a little head bow. So that is so cute. And that is from Doris. I'm going to hang this up. I've been hanging up all her little clothes in Jessie's closet. And every now and then I just go in there and look at them. Because <laughs> they're so cute. And I, I still can't believe that she's a girl and that... She's even there, you know. It's just crazy. Anyways. Alright, this next one, also from my registry, was from... It says... Uh, it has two names on it, so I'm not sure if it's from two people or if she has two names, maybe. It says Lynn, but it also says Diana. So, I don't know if that's two people, maybe. But I'm not sure. So, I'll say both of them. Lynn and Diana. <laughs> and it's a key teether. <laughs> Jesse had one just like this when he was a baby. Just like this. I think we got it at Walmart, maybe. Or at the baby shower. I can't remember. It's been a while. But he played with it forever. Uh, even way after he teethed, you know. And uh, so I'm sure she'll love that. Thank you so much for that. Alright, this one. This one's from Terry. It's in a cool little bag. I love the some of the bags that Amazon ships in. Let me get that gift note out of there. 
this. Like I said, I keep the gift notes, but then they always send you those extra receipt things. I don't want those. But like these little bags. I want these little things. But this is from Terry, and this is a toy that you put on the top of a car seat, the handle, so that they can play with the stuff that hangs down. And the black and white is good for babies because, well, it's purple. <laughs> it's, but contrasting colors, dark against light, is good for babies because um, when they're so, uh, so little, that's why, how they see. They don't see colors necessarily, but they see contrast. So, there's that. Jesse had something like this, but it was different. It's got a little bird on it. <laughs> and a cow, I think. Is that a cow? Looks kind of like a cow. A rattle. Just little strings for them to, you know, reach up and fiddle with. It says, it says mamas and papas. <laughs> That's like an old band, isn't it? They're the ones that sing that. All the leaves are brown. And the sky is red. I'm gonna put that back in that bag. That's why I love these because, like, you know, she won't be using this for a while. So I'll just stay nice and clean until she's uh, ready to play with it. Alright, and the next one, I'll have to insert a picture because it's, it's on my bed, but it's still in the box. It's from Crystal. And it is a baby bathtub. And I think it's like a... Let me look at the box. It says a 4-in-1 sling and seat tub. <laughs> So I'm not exactly sure what that means because we had like a basic one with Jesse too, but uh, it's been a while since he's a baby tub. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to address the situation. <laughs> Devin and Jesse were grumpy with each other, I guess. So I had to deal with that. But anyways, uh, tub crystal. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like because I'm going to leave it in the box until we need it because it's square in the box. So it'll be easier to store until uh, we open it and then I'll just live in the bathtub forever. So yeah, but also along with that, this is, they each got the gift of notes on it. it. Is a bottle, it's the package, of Cetaphil, is that, is that? Baby wash and shampoo. Which I'm going to leave in that bag also until we need it. So it's got a gift note on it too. <laughs> I taped it on each one of them. Um, and this is a little pitcher, like for, you know, dumping water on kids' heads. <laughs> And it's nice and soft plastic, so if I ever were to drop it on the baby, it wouldn't bonk them out. <laughs> but that all came from Crystal, so thank you so much for that. Now we'll neaten all this on the bed. <laughs> I gotta organize all this later. Alright, we still getting there. Hold on, I, I dropped, we just came in here and knocked out everything over. Anyways, I still got a big tote here. I <laughs> took all three. Almost done though. Right, let me get it all separated out. I, I put it in such a way so that I can keep it all with the people who sent it. Okay. Okay, this is another thing that was on my Amazon wish list. Like I, um, my craft one, I think. It's like called Crafty Things I Want or something. I can't, I can't remember. I try to organize them, but I sometimes get confused. <laughs> and this is from, I think it's Conroe. Put that up there. And it is, it's real crinkly. Safety eyes. <laughs> I mentioned recently that I needed some more small ones. And uh, they sent me some, so that's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. And it's good timing because I got Emma Groomies I got to make coming up. So thank you for that. It's real crinkly. <laughs> try not to shake it. Alright, this one is another baby gift, but this is just a gift. It's not like a um, registered gift. Now, this one didn't have a name on it. It didn't have a name on the card, and it didn't have a name on the package. Or if it did have a name on it, they got covered up by stickers and stuff. But, like, I keep looking at the card, and it's not on here. But here's the card. <laughs> it is a cute little sunflower. It's got a really sweet note in there. I'm not going to read the note because I don't want... You know, I never read my notes, but anyways. Um, so they sent me these baby things. Let's look at that. Nope, with those other ones. So this is a bottle of Young Living Seedlings Baby Lotion. I haven't even opened these. I don't even know what these look like. Baby lotion. <laughs> I don't need the box. This one is the same thing, but diaper rash cream. These are all like organic um, products. I think that Young Living, I think that's the people who make essential oils, but I'm not sure. And this is a bottle of baby wash and shampoo. 
same brand and it came with a pump <laughs> and then there's also a um package of the baby wipes i'm not gonna open these yet because i don't want them to dry out but i, I bet if i got a feeling just by the way it feels that they feel really nice <laughs> um, we were never picky with brands uh we were lucky because Jesse was never sensitive to anything, I should say. Because we got all kinds of uh, wipes and di diapers from his baby shower. Like a ridiculous amount. We didn't run out of baby wipes until Jesse was two years old. Is when I had to start buying more. <laughs> um, which I appreciate, you know. That's awesome to get that much stuff gifted to you. But uh, we used every brand under the sun. And luckily, he wasn't sensitive to anything. But we did, after we ran out of diapers, we did just start buying uh, the Walmart brand ones. Parents' Choice. Because they were cheap. <laughs> and, um... They didn't bother him, so. And we never had leaks or anything. I've seen a lot of people, like, complain that they leaked a lot, but, uh, he never did. But, I don't know. It's just random, I guess. It's different kids and different body shapes. But Jesse was always kind of chunky, so he filled up his diapers, you know, like, his body filled them in pretty tightly. So I didn't think anything could get through there. <laughs> and, uh, he never had a big blowout with us either, but he did with his grandparents. A really bad one at his grandparents' house. Alright, so that was from the person who, the, it, was, it was on the card and it wasn't on the package. But thank you anyways, because it's really nice, and I can't wait to... I don't want to open these right now, because I don't want them to, like, dry out or anything before she's here and I get to use them. But I can only imagine that they smell good, because it looks like they smell good. And I bet they're soft. Like, it's, I just seem like they... Like, nicer stuff. <laughs> Alright, so this next one is also a baby gift. And this is from... I had it a minute ago. What did I do with it? Um, it says Mr. or Mrs. Oh, I guess I won't say that. I'll just say Jack and Tammy. <laughs> it's in cursive. It takes me a minute to read it. That's just that's how my brain works. But they were all nice slow in this cute card. Homemade card. It says, keep calm and say bye to sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that at all. And then on the inside it says, welcome to the night shift. The hours are lousy, but the benefits are great. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, that's one thing I don't miss about just being baby is never getting any sleep. But that's okay. So she sent a lot of nice things. So she made two baby blankets. Whew, my foot's falling asleep. I gotta stretch my leg out. Give me a second. Okay. So this one, this yarn, she actually sent me some of it. So let me. It's just Red Heart baby yarn. And the color Crown Print. And she said that she had a hard time getting the end to stay in. And she said maybe I'd have better luck with it. So I will, I will deal with that. I'm not worried about it. So if you see an end hanging off, don't worry about it. So that's just a really cute granny square top granny stitch uh rainbowish color and it's like it's got like a white thread going through it i don't know how good you can see that it's a cute little baby blanket fold that up put it on the pile <laughs> and then this purple one is really pretty this reminds me of my sister because she always liked purple growing up really pretty purple one look at that that's so pretty look at the ruffly this is like a perfect size for a car seat blanket or a stroller blanket. It's just so pretty. The stitches is beautiful. I think I'm holding it upside down according to the stitches. <laughs> the stitches are beautiful and just the color is pretty. That's so cute. Definitely will be using that. That'll probably be one that lives in the car to use when we're in the car as car seat blanket because it's like the perfect shape. You know, it's skinny and long. I think it doors make so much noise. But she also found this cute little outfit. And this is so cute. It reminds me of the 90s. It reminds me of the kind of clothes my mom used to put me and my sister in. Which I love. And this is a two-year size. So, um, she can wear it, you know, in the future. <laughs> I'm trying to say. But it is so cute. It's like a, uh, what are these called? Like a bodysuit? A jumper? I don't know. But it's pink. And it's got little pockets. It's got a floral print on it. It is so cute. I love it. She's going to look so cute with that. And I know she's going to have brown hair. And it's it's made, you can tell it's made wide so that it's baggy on the sides. Because I know, you know, the baggy pants was big for kids back then. It's just going to be so cute. I just can't wait to see her in that. Alright, she also sent me a primary journal, which I thought was so funny. Because we had the heck of a time finding one of these when Jesse started school. And when we finally found one, it was the last one in the store. And he needs one for first grade too. Because it was on the school list for, it was for uh, kindergarten through second grade. <laughs> so we're good for next year. I'm going to save this. I'm going to put this in my drawer over here where I keep stuff that I save. <laughs> 
and uh, he's gonna be ready. It even says it there, Katie, too. <laughs> um, for next year, I don't have to hunt one down. I already know where one's at. <laughs> and then she also sent me the yarn from that first blanket, the Red Heart yarn. So here's like a used, like a mostly used skein. But then right here, it's real crinkly. It's three full skeins <laughs> of the yarn so I can make matching whatever or figure it out, you know? So that's awesome. So thank you so much for that, Tammy. And I guess your husband too, because he's on, you know, his name is on the card. <laughs> okay, that's it. All right, last one. This one is not baby related. This one's fabric, because that was gifted to me by an uh, anonymous person. <laughs> this is really cute fabric. All right, let's just go get started. Pumpkins, this is so cute. This will be not the next shop update, because it's going to be zipper totes or zipper project bags. I already got them cut and ready to go. I'm gonna start selling them in a few days. <laughs> but this will be the net shop update after that, which will probably be either the very end of October or the beginning of November. So this is a big good timing because it's, you know, still folly and, you know, Thanksgiving and all that. And there's just a cool one. It's like purple, shimmery, glittery. And then there's this purple stars. I like that too. I think I had this before, but it was blue. I don't know. <laughs> and then this really cute Mickey Mouse one. It says Mickey 28. I don't know if that means anything. Um, you know, I don't know if that's a certain thing for Mickey. I don't know. <laughs> but it's cute anyways, and people who love Mickey Mouse will know if it's like a special thing. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones in this batch. Yeah, I love color. Look at it. It's like a marble purple print. And over here, it's got more of the green in it. Purple and pink and green. That's going to make beautiful bags. This one is really pretty, too. I love all these. <laughs> so, I think I've had something similar to this before. I think I bought one, but instead of this shape, it was uh, chevron. But it's like primary colors. That shape. I don't know what that shape's called. <laughs> and then this looks white, but it's got... There you go. It's got little flowers on it. Cute, cute, cute. Another pretty rainbowy one. This little print. <laughs> Super cute. And then, I'm gonna save that one for last because it's my favorite. <laughs> Alright, this one has got uh, alpacas on it and uh, cactuses. <laughs> and brain, brain farting and everything. This is a cute Christmas print. I'm gonna have so many Christmas bags. Cute Christmas bags coming up. And if, you know, gosh, like six weeks, <laughs> less than that probably. Um, it's ridiculous because I've been hoarding up every Christmas fabric since last year. It's, look at it, it's glittery. It's pretty. And then another rainbow one. I love this one too. I love rainbows. So bright and cheery. Another, and here's another Christmas print. This one's got words on it, so let me open it a little bit. This one says, glory to God, glory in the highest. So that's song lyrics. Oh, come all you faithful, joyful, and triumphant. <laughs> oh, so pretty. And it's poinsettias. And it's like shimmery. It's so pretty. I just love Christmas. I cannot wait to put my Christmas tree up. I usually put get the tree out of the box and put it together on Halloween night when we get done. I may not this year because Jesse has school the next day. But that's usually what I do. And then the next day is when we decorate and all that. But I probably won't do that this year because uh, Halloween's on a Sunday and Jesse has school the next day. And there's this one. It is a red print with white floral. Very pretty. This one is super cute. A lot of y'all gonna like this one because I know a lot of people like cats. And it's a cat print. <laughs> it kind of looks retro. I don't know if it is or not. I have to look at the. I think it's just meant to look retro. Because the thing, the copyright thing, looks like a, a modern one. But it's just like cool retro looking cats. And then there's this print that's got like construction equipment on it. But I like that, like the color schemes are really cool. And then this is my favorite one. I'm making a bag for me out of this. And then if there's any left, I'll make a bag and put it in the shop. But this, this screams Ella. I love it so much. If I had enough of this fabric, I would make a Christmas dress out of it. Try to open it. This is about a yard. Yeah, it seems like it's a yard. Let me get it upside right for you. It's Christmas cookies. That is so cute. I love making Christmas cookies. I make Christmas cookies every single year for my family. 
usually sugar cookies, but I think the last few years I've been doing uh, peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip cookies just to be easier. Oh, it's so cute. It's definitely, I'm going to make me a bag of this for sure. I think I'm going to make me a zipper project bag with a matching notion pouch. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, and then there was also some um, handle. <laughs> like this is one of those things that you have to pull at um, Joann's <laughs> to get your number. That must have been one of those pieces of fabric. It's so funny. Anyways, there's some, um, it's like a dark gray or brown. I can't tell. Uh, some cotton. It's called cotton webbing, but I call it handles because what I make handles with. But uh, there's some in there. It says that it is 32 inches. <laughs> so it's almost a yard. And there's some red. It's not quite that bright. <laughs> it's a darker red. It's just my lighting. And there's some white. This is awesome to have because I use this on all my zipper bags. And on the bags when I make tote handles, that's what I make them out of. And then there's also this ribbony one, which I can still use this as handle. It's thinner, but it'll still work. And this would be so pretty on Christmas bags. Because it's white, but it's got like silver thread through it that's shimmery so there's a pretty good amount there so yeah that's just awesome i absolutely love it when people send me fabric because it helps me to make bags without having to spend so much first because like with any business <laughs> you have to spend money to make money i had to spend a lot of money this last few weeks because i ran out of batten so i had to order a big roll of batten i ran out of zippers so i had to order zippers and i ran out of cotton webbing <laughs> and so i ordered a big uh 25 yard roll of that and um it was quite a bit. <laughs> Plus, I had to go get more fabric for the next update. That's going to be zipper bags. And I always spend a lot on fabric because I, I go through there picking out just all the ones that I like, you know. And the ones that I remember people mentioning that they liked, I uh, pick them up, you know. But, uh, yeah. So, anytime someone, even if it's just one little piece of fabric, it helps me to make money for my family. So, that's cool. And I love being able to help because even though we were a one-income family for a while, <laughs> Devin, you know, has he's he's... We're lucky enough that he has a good enough job that we can live off of his alone if we needed to. Because we did for years. <laughs> um, but I like being able to stay home with Jessie and then with June when she comes. But also be able to contribute to the family, you know. And I know that I already do. And Devin reminds me all the time, you know, because I take care of the kid. This is when she gets here <laughs> in the house. And I cook and clean and I run all the errands. And I pay all the bills because if Devin had to do it, he would everything would be turned off because he would forget. <laughs> but, um, you know, it still feels good to be able to financially contribute to your family. Anyways, with that being said, <laughs> I'm going to put all this stuff away. And I'm running out of room to put baby stuff. I did also get that swing. I mentioned that a few videos back, but it's still at my sister's because it's in a big box and she put it in her shed for me because we won't need that, you know, until after she's born. I probably should have left the tub there too because we won't need it until after she's born and her little cord falls off. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to have a baby again. <laughs> it still just blows my mind that I'm going to have another little baby. I feel like she's going to be littler too because I haven't gained hardly any weight. I'm bigger. My stomach's definitely gotten bigger. But I'm still sitting around the same weight I was when I got pregnant. And Jessie, by now, I had already gained a lot. I gained I gained so much weight with Jessie. It's not even funny. I, was, I got pregnant with Jessie when I was 185-ish. And the day that I delivered Jesse, I was 250 something. I gained a lot of weight with him. But I didn't know anything. I was stupid and young, you know. I was I didn't work. I worked when I got pregnant, but then I quit shortly after. Because I was high risk and I was afraid that I would miscarry. But um and Devin was supported that. And then I just was lazy. You know, I was stupid. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I know a lot more now, and plus I'm a busier person now. But um Anyways, at the day I delivered him, I lost 20 pounds because that was him plus the fluids plus the placenta and all that stuff. Um, and then I just kind of sat there in the 230s until last year. <laughs> Pre-pandemic, I lost that weight. And then I got depressed after having miscarriage. And I gained most of that back uh, last year. And then uh, we decided not to try to have a baby. And then we changed our minds at the beginning of this year. And then we got pregnant and it stuck. So, yeah. I wanted to get back healthier again. Once she's born and I get cleared to exercise, which usually takes, I think, six weeks um, after you deliver. Assuming nothing happens. And assuming I don't have to get a C-section because I don't know how that works. I've never had one of those. But uh, anyways, I want to ride my bicycle again. <laughs> I miss it. We had so much fun last year riding our bikes. And we haven't done it all this year because um, I've been pregnant all summer. <laughs> and I don't want to crash and, you know, and hurt myself with a baby. And uh, anyways, 
I'm blabbing now, but I always blab. It's like nothing new. <laughs> I've got to put all this fabric where it goes. I got to put all these baby things where they go. I got to put that tub somewhere. I got to put this yarn. I could put it over here. And that little book and these these things. Oh Lord. It's gonna be a minute. What I'm probably gonna do is put most of it back in this tote and let it sit for a while until I have the energy to deal with it. <laughs> That's okay though. I'm allowed to do that. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Actually, you're allowed to be lazy anytime. You know, I don't know why people put so much pressure on themselves to get so much accomplished. You know, waking up and getting out of bed is an accomplishment. If that's the only thing you do all day, woo! <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited about these fabrics. They are so pretty. And like some of these are fabrics I don't see a lot because I don't get to go to Joanne's anymore. Because it's, uh, it's about an hour away. And um, they do have better deals on fabric and coupons mixed in. But it's just it's so much easier for me to just to go to Hobby Lobby because it's like 20 minutes away. And uh, I only go every other week when the fabric's on sale. <laughs> and uh, the week that the fabric's on sale, this is full price. But then the next week when the yarn is on sale, this is half off. <laughs> so, um, but I actually found out that it's cheaper to order big rolls of this on Amazon. It costs more when you buy it, but per yard it's cheaper. Because when this is on sale at Hobby Lobby, it's a dollar a yard. Because it's normally $1.99. But then if you, like that 25 yard roll of it that I bought... It came, I divided it out and it came out to like 78 cents a yard. So it makes it cheaper. You just have to spend more up front. But yeah. That's things I've learned since making bags a lot is uh, shopping at different places is much better than just picking one store and shopping there. Because you can find cheaper options, you know. Like Amazon, I got a really good deal on the batten. Because Joanne's batting was 40% off. And it still costed more for 25 yards than what I paid for the 30 yards of batting I got from Amazon. So, and I got free shipping with Amazon. Joanne's would have been $1.99 because <laughs> I had a coupon at the time. But anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and edit this. It's a really long video and I have to edit out a few things. <laughs> but um, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the gifts. They're definitely unnecessarily unnecessary, but super appreciated, especially the baby things because we got rid of everything uh, uh, before last year. Cause when we had Jesse, we were gonna, we were, you know, we were fine. And then last year is when I decided I wanted another baby. And then the miscarriages happened and then I got bummed out, you know. So we don't have any baby stuff from Jesse except his special things in a box, which I'm keeping in a box. You know, his special outfits and stuff um, are his. I don't want the new baby to wear them. And she's a girl anyways. <laughs> so, um, but we got rid of, you know, we had bassinet, we had a swing, we had, you know, a crib. <laughs> my sister still has the crib because it was her son's and then my son's and then I gave it back to her. But, um, you know, you get, you get rid of stuff because you don't think you're going to have another baby. And then you're like, surprise, you're going to have another baby. And then it's like, I don't have anything for this baby. <laughs> but I'm slowly getting a stockpile. I got so many cute clothes. got the little tub. I got the swing, which Jesse loved his swing. So hopefully she will too. I still got to get a high chair and a car seat. I want to get a car seat um, stroller combo where it like clicks into the stroller. Uh, that's like and a place for her to sleep. <laughs> Either a bassinet or a crib. Um, that's like the major things that we still gotta get, but I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that until December. Cause I'm gonna wait and see what my in-laws buy. <laughs> Cause, um, they bought a lot of stuff with Jesse when I was pregnant with Jesse. So I'm gonna wait until then. But January, we gotta get that stuff because she might come in January. Uh, and then the rest of it's just little things, you know, more clothes, <laughs> more blankets and things. And, um, gosh, I don't even know, more bottles. We got some bottles, but we'll need more. Uh, cause I do intend on formula feeding cause breastfeeding was a horrible experience with Jesse. And I won't ever do that again. And the people there, the lactation lady was not nice about it at all. She was a breast is best type person. And um, I don't like people like that. Because breast might be best in a way. But if it's making the mother depressed and the baby's not eating. And the mother hasn't showered in over a week. And is so depressed that she doesn't even get out of bed. Because the baby won't latch right. Breast is not best. <laughs> and that's what happened to me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways. I'm gonna hop off here because this is probably like a 40 minute video now. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video if you stuck with me this long. Yay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. Some of these people have channels. I'll link their channels below uh, to check them out if you want to. But I'm sure you already know who they are because if you know who I am, you know who they are. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. <laughs> Bye guys.